Gene Roddenberry died a while back, and he was a man of great vision. With his TV programs like Star Trek, Star Trek Generations, Star Trek Deep Space Nine, and other TV programs and lots of movies and more, they are extremely popular with the young people. I think that's because the young people had a, a vision of what Gene had in mind. And the young people to see a world without hunger. They could see a world without disease. They could see a world without war and see a world free of fear. A world where everyone is doing what they want to do instead of doing something they hate. Of course this program has challenges, but in the end they always get through them in a positive way. With perseverance, honesty, love, and peace in their hearts, they move through with the prime directive to do no harm. To allow people to grow and change and walk their own path without restriction. And yes, to move in the right direction and a direction of love. We too will see that one day we will all move through the stars one day. I don't doubt that one tiny bit. We too will connect and work with beings from planets from all over the universe. I see that coming. There's no doubt about it. It's our destiny. It's what we were meant to do. Yet we must take baby steps. It is time for us to take back our planet and take care of it. Time to stop the wars and feed the poor. At the same time, end all greed. This can be done, and a lot of you are going, how, how do I do that? Well, don't say it can't be done. That, that's the first thing that stops the possibility. It just takes a single change of thought chains, that's all. And we do have the willpower. Try this with me. Hold up your hand. Now move your finger. See that? It took great willpower to move that finger. That means you have willpower. Now to use that willpower to make changes in the world. Well, let me grab a pencil here. Now put a, a pencil in your hand. Now try to pick that up. No, I said try to pick it up. No, no, to put it back down. Now try to pick that up. For you see, there is no try. That's an excuse that we don't want to do it in the first place. You either do it or you don't. It's a choice on our part. And you have to be honest with yourself. If you don't want to do it, then just be honest and say, I don't want to do that. And if you do, that's great. Then go out and do it. We as people of Earth have to start being honest with ourselves. We expect other people to do what we ourselves don't want to do. That is itself a kind of saying, I'm not going to try. But in reality, we don't want to do it. We have to fess up and start taking responsibility for our actions on this planet. In order to be wonderful people on a wonderful world that we make. But it will take great willpower to work on this whole thing happening. From try to I will is a small step, but a very powerful step. Because in the end, it means we no longer are stagnated. No longer sitting on the sidelines, wishing for others to do 
what we are afraid to do. Time to move, my friends. Time for us to change our way of life on this planet. To recycle. To stop listening to the news. To stop listening to the greedy families of the, the corporate world. And start changing our lives and knowing that there are things that are good for us in this world and there are things that are not so good for us. We too have the rights to take care of ourselves and thrive and live according to the way of Creator and God. Now this all takes moving from a to a new level of being. It's not thinking because that process is all about heart and and not knowledge. Nothing great ever was done with just knowledge. A powerful heart moves the soul and so it moves the people. Stand up. Grab your heart and don't let go. Never let go. I am waiting for you to join me. We can move to a new level as we move to a new plane of existence. I love you.